Hi, my name is Liu Min. This presentation is for ADIS GCBMS 2022 Global Conferences on Business Management and Social Science. My present title is Supply Chain Risk Management in the Context of COVID-19 Strategies Review. And my supervisor and me uh, come from the University Technology Malaysia, AHIBS. As the COVID-19 pandemic, global companies and manufacturing organizations today are increasingly vulnerable to supply chain disruptions and risks. Constructing supply chain resilience can help reduce the impact and the service of supply chain disruptions and can provide quick recovery capabilities and capacities when disruptions and the risks occur. Hence, the suitable risk management practices in supply chain management could help the manufacturing organizations and the firms companies to handle risks and the vulnerability and to gain competitive advantages in the complex business condition. So my research objective is aims to review empirical research on supply chain risk management from 2005 to 2021, and they want to explore the links between the supply chain risk and the disruption, vulnerability, uncertainty, resilience, and other related concepts in the supply chain risk field. So I hope this study can provide a corresponding references scope for the research direction. So the methodology in this research I will select the contact analysis method of literature evolution, which is the ideas for observational studies. And these methodologies can systematically evaluate the symbolic contact of various written recorders. So contact analysis methods can also help the researchers and academies identify and analyze literature to shape categories which can help to develop new areas of research. So this is a very effective research methodology. So the trend in this research can show that an increasingly trend year by year, there are being a sharp increases after 2012 reached the highest value in 2020 because the COVID-19 were exposed in the 2019. The research direction on business economic, engineering, and operations research management exercise is relatively high, while the research on agriculture, mathematics, and food science technology is relatively rare. The research showed that China is a country with the largest number of the authors, and the other countries such as the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, and other countries are relatively few, but the distribution is average. So in the finding in research, the five relational concepts of the supply chain risk is supply chain disruption, supply chain resilience, supply chain vulnerability, supply chain uncertainty, and supply chain security. Supply chain disruption can be defined as a breakdown in the manufacturing flows of goods and their delivery to customers. And the supply chain uncertainty refers to the decision-making processes in the supply chain in which the decision maker does not know exactly what to decide due to the lack of transparency of the supply chain and the impact of possible actions. Supply chain resilience can be defined as a capability to resist or even avoid the impact of a supply chain disruption and the ability to quickly recover from a disruption. Supply chain vulnerability can be defined as an exposure to serious disturbance arising from risks within the supply chain as well as risks external to the supply chain. Supply chain security is a part of supply chain management that focuses on the risk management of external suppliers, vendors, logistics, and transportation. Its goal to is to identify, analyze, and mitigate the risks inherent in working with other organizations as part of a supply chain. 
So the finding of the supply chain risk management practices can be defined in the risk identification, risk assessment, risk mitigation, and risk monitoring. Risk identification is a process by which potential risk sources that may affect the performance are identified. And the assessment in risk is determines the likelihood, frequency, and the impact of disruptions within a range of different possible scenarios related to these disruptions. So mitigation practices, it is an element of CRM practices that reduce the probability of specific risks occurring or their impacts on both. So the monitoring practices it is how organizations can determine the progress of their mitigation actions, take call reactive actions for any deviations, and identify possible new preventative measures. So a growing number of business reports reflect the fragility of modern supply chain systems. Therefore, despite such a wealth of literature, Many researchers in the field of supply chain research believe that the field of risk management in supply chain is still in its infancy and is still worthy of in-depth study and exploration. This study composed the literature on supply chain risk and risk management in recent years and summarized the related concepts, including the link between supply chain risk and the disruption, vulnerability, uncertainty, resilience, and supply chain security. Key risk management practices are analyzed, including risk identification, risk mitigation, risk assessment, and risk monitoring. At the same time, we also forecast future trends and the possible problems in the field of risk management. These concepts will help further researchers to better understand the field and expand their research efforts. Thank you. That's all.